Hello and welcome to another Scratch VA tutorial. In this quick video, I'd like to discuss the different ways to balance a sharp, which is basically the, the different ways to neutralize any color dominance that you might have in a sharp. And this is usually the primary task that you're going to have to do before doing color correction properly. So to illustrate that, let me get a clip here, which is a DPX 2K scan, okay, which is obviously greenish. And okay, so the first thing we would need to do here is pop up the statistics tools. Here I have an histogram. Let me adjust, oops, a little bit my curves so they fit. Okay, so we can see we have obviously an upset here in the green. But you can also pop up the RGP parade, which is here, where you can see also the issue that we have. Let me reduce a little bit the histograms. Okay. So here at the bottom, I have my leaves gamma and gain, my color wheels. Okay, so the first reaction uh, would be to say, okay, I'm going to adjust and balance my shot using the leaf gamma and gain. And this is traditionally the way you would proceed uh, in any other application. So let, let me illustrate both cases. Okay, so the first case, let me add a version, adding a version here. So here, okay, I would say, okay, my leaf gamma and gain would be respectively the lower third of my curves. Uh, gamma would be, let's say, the middle, and gain would be the top. Now, if I look at my lift, okay, if I push my lift a little bit toward the blue, I can see that actually I'm moving the blue a little up from the bottom line, from the black. I can even lift globally the three of them. Okay. Now, I might want also to adjust a little bit now my gain. So, I'm lowering a little bit the green in the, in the highlights, pushing a little bit the blue, that's a bit too much. Okay, right. But I'm doing it very roughly. But basically, my three top of my curve are still <coughs> almost at the same level. Okay, and I'm going to use the master gain to pull the curve toward the top to get something like that. Okay, so again, this is done very roughly, but you can see that we achieved to have a shot which is now normally balanced. And to do this, we used the primary lift gamma and gain. That's cool. And if we look at our curves here, histogram, you can see how my curve histogram look like. Okay, so this is great. The thing is that proceeding this way, what we did is that we actually used the primary gradient. That means if you want to build a color grading on the top of that, you're going to need to have either a secondary or you're going to need to adjust and compensate every time you're going to put an adjustment. So what we did in Scratch is that you have another tool in Scratch. This is why I created this additional version. And the other tool is called Levels. So basically, if you look at the time it took to us to do this adjustment, let's now look at the other way of doing so. Okay, so here I have the same offset. You can see the difference in the histogram, right? Now let's imagine that we go here into levels. And here we're going to work with the offset and pre-gain. Okay, so basically my offset are my blacks and pre-gain are my whites. So the first thing I would like to lift a little bit my blue in the offset it up a little bit and adjust a little bit the red and the green. <clears throat> now, I still have my uh, green offset here, so I can push a little bit the red. Okay, so they have a nice roll off at the end. 
and maybe extend this just a little bit. Okay, so if you compare the two histograms, I mean, between the two shots we had, okay, they are quite similar and we did it much faster. Now, the other thing is that because I did this using the labels, I still have my primaries available, so I can still adjust my primaries. Okay, so I can come punctually and adjust this a little bit, maybe reduce the gain a little bit, like this, okay? Because this part of the UI has not been touched. This part of the tools have not been used yet. Okay, so this is to me the fastest way to balance a shot efficiently. I mean, you can still use any of the two methods. Just keep in mind that if you use your primaries at this level, then you're going to need to manage that afterward. While if you use just the labels, you keep the primaries untouched. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.